La réplica de la Casa Blanca en Fodder Lauderdale. So we're on the right hand side, the beige colored two story house with the small white boat lifted up in front of it out of the water there, belongs to Wendy Thomas and Wendy's Fast Food Restaurants. Right next to that, the big yellow mansion there belongs to a plastic surgeon. I like took a lot of boot jobs to pay for that place. Inside the big yellow mansion over there, sitting to the left of the pink one with the long white dock in front of it, belongs to the owners of Sunglass Hut. So now we know why the sunglasses there cost so much. We all got to help get you to pay for all the stuff over there. <laughs> on the right with the big yacht in front of it belongs to David Stern, not the commissioner of the NBA, but the foreclosure lawyer in South Florida. He paid $60 million for this 165-foot main Goosty yacht here, almost twice as much as he paid for the whole mansion. At the end of the property in a minute, you'll see a basketball court, which used to be a separate house and property altogether. We bought the house, tore it down to build the basketball court. Basically what you got there is about a $7 million basketball court. set back in the trees there's where Johnny Weissmuller used to live back in the 50s when he was doing the Tarzan shows up the Tarpon River. Right next door to that one, the big house here is owned by the owners of LA. El Llanero Solitario vivía acá. Johnny Weissmuller. El Tarzan. White House on the right with the long black windows is owned by Michael Mann, who was the producer of Miami Vice. This house was in about 12 different episodes of Miami Vice. Of Miami Vice. It has a swimming pool in the living room, and it's only a one-bedroom house that consists of the entire second floor. Every time this house was in one of the episodes, it was always the bad guy's house. The last house on the right in this particular row, the beige one, was in the movie Any Given Sunday, starring Al Pacino. Paisajes eminentemente portuarios. 
Fort Lauderdale, Estados Unidos.